Well, we're actually putting some paint on now over the uh, over that wash-in. It's kind of late in the day, and on a day like this, we have really bad um, broadband. So I don't know if I'll get this video out to you today. We'll try. We'll see how it goes. My plan really just now is to to clean up the designs back here. <clears throat> and try to make things as I think they should be. I like this part of the painting because you're just it's rewarding you know you see that very the, the silhouettes really jump now putting that intense light against them Staying too light here. Make sure I add my cobalt blue. I've dipped into my uh, into the uh, yellow ochre here and there down here, just to give it a little bit of variety, just subtle varieties in color. Okay, we'll go in that direction with our color and here as well I'm just putting those value reminders in right now I'm going fairly pure color right now I'm not really adding much white to anything I'm letting the cadmium yellow pale the white in the cadmium yellow pale, I'm letting that pick up the the slack as far as keeping the value higher is concerned. Now when I'm using a flat brush like this and I'm not using any medium in my paint, I'm just going straight oil paint, the, uh, the brush will easily contort and I you know you'll, you'll squish these together and then you end up with sort of a misshapen head then you lose your control so I'm trying to make sure that when I load the brush I'm loading it like 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 this on the palette not on the, not like this using the edge but like this using the flat so that when I come up to the canvas here I still have a reasonably flat brush that I'm playing with Fussy, fussy, fussy. Well, I'm gonna have to be.
Okay, well, doesn't look a whole lot different from before. I've just raised the value in chroma of everything in the wash in, and I've gotten my trees a little more organized. Now I'll have to decide this trunk, I think I'd like to keep this trunk fairly in the foreground, but it might disappear in behind some, some bush or the lower part of the center tree. So I just have to decide, you know, what, what's closer, what's farther away. Um, there will be very, you know, fairly gentle hue differences. You know, at the top where, where the dark meets the sky, I'm going to leave it quite dark. And then we'll come into some, a little bit of ambient light picking up on some of the structure in the foreground. All right, that's it for now. I'm keeping it short, otherwise it'll take hours to upload. I have really lousy uh, broadband service today. Okay, thanks guys.